What's up guys? Um, it's Jacob here. Sorry, it's been a couple days since I've made a video, but um, I've been really busy with stuff. So um, uh, mainly I, I've been trying to get an email server working on my website. Um, if you guys have been to my website, thehackhub.com, um, this is it. Uh, oh, nope, that's my email. This is it right here. Um, this is the, the website, but then there's the form here. Now this form has been running for a few days. Um, it's been functioning perfectly so far, and uh, one thing it doesn't have yet is an email server, which is what I've been working on. Because let's say you forget your password, or you want to receive notifications if someone replies to your post or whatever the case may be. Um, you you for now you don't need an email to register. So and I'll probably keep it that way, but. So people are able to register, but if you forget your password or something, you're kind of SOL because it there's no way for it to actually send you an email to verify um, your password change. So I've been working on that. Now, for those of you guys who don't know a lot about this, you're actually going to use SMTP, um, Simple Mail Transfer Protocol or whatever it stands for, and that's what you use to send mail. Now, um, my biggest freaking fear is mail servers. I hate mail servers with all my heart. They're just such a pain in the ass to configure. They are, for me, I mean, I've never had a mail server work for me the first time ever. So I'm going to show you guys how I do it, and it does work very well. Um, I don't like relaying my mail through other people's servers. I don't like sending it through, like, because I use Time Warner Cable. And a lot of times you can relay mail through servers. That's not a good way. I don't like to do to rely on other people's servers. I just want to send mail from my server. Now, sometimes this will work and sometimes it won't work. Your internet provider, your ISP, may block your port 25. See, SMTP sends its mail through port 25. That's the that's the server port, and it also can send it through, I believe, 443 if it's a secure. Um, port using SSL but then you have to have certificates and crap and that gets really expensive and that's why I just absolutely hate mail servers is because they just they, sometimes they, they never work perfect there's never a perfect working mail server and it's really hard for me to get these damn things working because um, a lot of times I'll get an, a working SMTP mail server but then let's say I go to send an, a, an email to someone with like a Gmail account well then Gmail will do a re reverse DNS lookup on my server and they'll see that it's not a certified server then they'll reject the mail and then you can't send emails and it's ridiculous email servers are such a pain in the ass to set up so here's what I did um, I actually set up an entirely new server um, this is my Dell PowerEdge um, 1850 and it's running Windows Server 2008. So we're actually using Windows Server 2008 to send our emails with the SMTP server um, package in Windows Server 2008. Um, I really do want to run a, a Linux version of this, but I don't know how to do it yet. Um, I just haven't ever gotten around to it. And even setting one up in Windows Server is such a pain in the ass. Email servers are just, I hate them. Um, but I figured out one a while ago in Windows Server that works perfectly. So what I did was this is my my web server here and I, I edited the php.ini so sudo vi um, slash etc slash um, php5 slash apache2 slash php.ini and that'll take you to this configuration file. We're 56 percent of the way in and it's line like 1000 something or something like that. I don't even, really don't even know. It's really far down. It's a huge ass file. But SMTP, so this is the server, the SMTP server right here. And I'm actually sending it to a local server because it's on my local network. This is the uh, port. And then when it sends the emails out to you guys, it sends it from me. This is my email address on my email server, jacob at thehackhub.com. So. Um, this is 10.0.0.3, that's my web server, and then this here is 10.0.0.6 that we're referencing here in the php.ini. So if I go ahead and um, escape W and Q, we're saving those configuration settings in the php.ini. It now has this server set up in the configuration settings to um, be the, the mail server. So what you do is when you're in Windows Server 2008, um, what I'm going to go ahead and do is we'll just go ahead and open up the administrative tools and we'll go to the server manager. So what I went ahead and did is let's go ahead and open this up a little bit more. Um, 
I went into the um, the features and I added the feature um, as you can see here uh, SMTP server and it says it's already installed and it'll need to install a few other rules and packages and crap to make that work but it'll automatically do all that once you have um, done that and you've installed the SMTP server you can go ahead and launch the uh, let's wait for that to go away it would go ahead and launch the um, the IIS 6.0 manager now this is a really old one because now it's up to like 7 point something or whatever but um then you just click on server 4 you expand it you have your SMTP server and it's running and then you can right click on it go to properties and what I'm saying is I'm saying to use only the 10.0.0.6 port on port 25 or that IP address so it's using that network card and then um, I have it uh, logged enabled so that I can um, access the logs. I also set it pretty high. The file size is 2 gigs, so it'll store up to 2 gigs of logs for this server. Um, authentication, I'm just going to go ahead and leave it anonymous access, but I am going to say the connections um, just so people can't just send mail through my servers because that would not be good because people would use it for spam mail. So what I'm going to do is I'm only going to allow um, it to connect, only going to allow my web server to connect to it. So if it doesn't have this IP address, it's not going to accept it. So we're going to grant this server, which is my web server, and it's, we're going to also allow my web server to relay emails through this SMTP server, so 10.0.0.3. That way, um, not anybody can just access my mail server and send mail through my email server. So um, we've uh, updated that, that's all good, and it's running, and now what we do is um, it's pretty much good to go, really. I mean, you don't have to do much more than that. You can do more if you wanted to. You can also do things like, let me just show you real quick, you can set up um, TLS, you can set up, uh, what's it called? They have um, SSL, I believe, SSL connections. Um, somewhere on here I saw it, but anyways, um, if you want to do all that, you have to have certificates and crap. And um, I'm I'm not that. I don't want to get too much into having certificates. So what I do is I just run the um, the port 25, just standard email server, instead of running the 443. All right, guys. So if we go ahead and um, look at this thing in action. Uh, I actually port forwarded my server as well, so this um, 10.0.0.6, that email server, the Windows uh, SMTP server is port forwarded on port 25, which allows it to communicate with the outside world and all the other email servers. So what we'll go ahead and do is log in, we'll hit the, um, the login button over here, and I'm going to go ahead and click I forgot my password, and then so what we're going to do is normally you just throw in your username, and your email and submit it and it'll say that it sent you a, a password to the email address um, I have here my um, I have my email here so if we go here and we can see that boom right now uh, it's 1206 so 06 there my password um, has activation has been reset or the little email has been uh, sent to um, reset my password so that means that the email server is working for this site well that's pretty much it for this one guys um, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little tutorial or whatever if you call it a tutorial I mean I guess it's a tutorial because I showed you guys how to set up a little Windows SMTP mail server but um, that's how we are sending our mail for now I hope you guys enjoyed that little quick rundown but like I said guys I really don't want to keep going this way I, I want to figure out a way to do it in Linux I just don't have time right now and um, like I said email servers just on their own are a pain in the ass to set up but um I have an entire server an entire Dell PowerEdge 1850 running just to send emails which is pretty ridiculous um, it's literally just idling all day pretty much um, so I need to figure out a way to um, send emails through Linux Ubuntu, but I just don't have the time for that quite yet. Maybe if you guys, you guys should definitely jump on over to my forum at thehackhub.com, and if you guys know how to do it, definitely help me out over there. But um, I'll look into it for now. This is the quickest way I knew how to do it off the top of my head. So we have an entire Windows Server 2008 server running just for 
sending emails through SMTP. That's it for this one, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and like always, have a good one, guys.